Walter, and I have been together for about five years now. He's the stable, predictable type, good job, decent looks, and he's totally devoted to me. It's nice, really. But sometimes life needs a little spice, and that's where my adventures on the side come in. It started innocently enough a flirtatious conversation with a co-worker, a lingering touch with a friend at a party. But I soon found myself craving the chase, the adrenaline I got from secret meetings, the satisfaction of being wooed by someone new. It was intoxicating. I had a few flings, but nothing serious, just enough to keep it interesting. What's the best part? Walter has no idea. I've become a master at covering my tracks, always having the perfect alibi, always being one step ahead. It's like a game of chess, and I'm always three moves ahead. I recently started dating this guy, Jack. He's the complete opposite of Walter Spontaneous, wild, and completely unpredictable. We met in secluded bars, went on weekend trips to places Walter would never have thought to look. It was all exciting, and every time I went home to Walter, I felt satisfied that I was getting away with it. Then, I didn't get enough of Jacoma, and I started having other men. I know some of you are probably furious right now, thinking I'm heartless or cruel, but the fact is, life is short. Why settle for vanilla when you can get a whole spectrum of flavors? Walter is happy, I'm happy, and if he doesn't find out anything, What's the harm in that? That's what I thought at the time, and I was completely sure of it. My affair lasted three years. I was over the moon with love and impunity. But the day of reckoning came when Walter beat me in one move. Not long before, he'd brought up the subject of children, but I told him it was too soon. I wanted to live a little more freely. I wasn't prepared for such a question and tried to find an excuse for my refusal. Walter obviously noticed the falsity and became suspicious. One evening he came into the house white as if he had been sprinkled with flour. I knew right away that something was wrong. He came in with a big fat envelope. I asked him what was wrong. He threw the package on the table and said, look for yourself and added, I think you've seen this before. I opened the envelope. The envelope was completely stuffed with pictures of me and my lover having a great time. Pictures that were impossible to refute. The only option left was to apologize, so I rushed to him in tears and started asking him to forgive me. I told him it was an unfortunate accident that would not happen again. In response to my remorse this scumbag just pushed me to the couch and said, you have to leave this house tomorrow. After the divorce, I got the car. Everything else was Walter's. I had to sell the car to rent a place to live. I never worked a day in my life. Walter provided everything. Since I had no specialty and no experience, I could only get a job as a waitress at a roadside bar. Now I carry plates and listen to the ramblings of truck drivers. I called Walter many times and offered to start over, but the bastard just blacklisted me from his cell phone.